All right, testing, is it on? Yes, yes it is. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are new here, this is Peyton 3.0's EDM World News, and I'm Peyton 3.0. The EDM and drumstep vocalist, Sami Supreme, the musician, honey. The sexy, the sassy, and the stunning. The king, the queen, all of that. Okay, and today I got a hot news story for you. Okay, this is the only and headlining news story of today. Former employees file a class action lawsuit against Paulin over unpaid wages. Okay, so stay tuned because this is Peyton 3.0's EDM World News. Take it away. Give me a moment. I'm going to do that again. All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Peyton 3.0. Woo! Hello there. Did you miss me, my loyal Zomatrons? And yes, the green screen I think, a little funny because, honey, it's just, it's, it's a struggle for me sometimes. But whatever, maybe a lot of times with these green screens. But anyway, I'm here. If you see a little green and stuff around there, who cares? Let's get to the show, the news story. That's what you came here for. Let me know how your day is, by the way, in the comment section. So, like I was saying, the news story today is former employees filed a class action lawsuit against Paulin after unpaid wages, honey. Uh-uh. See, somebody like me, you got to pay me my money, bitch. You got to pay me my ducats, honey, my yen, my pesos. Come on, don't play around the money. All right. So the suit is the latest development. I'm the first. Let me tell you something. I'm the first one to check a job. Where's my money at? I'm looking at every record, every timestamp, everything. Make sure I'm right. Make sure they right. Calling an accounting. Accounting. I'm calling payroll. I'm calling all y'all. Make sure my money's right. Okay. So the suit is the latest development in the saga of Destination Events company which had raised 150 million before falling into administration in the uk okay now this is sponsored or i'm not sponsored but this is thanks to edm.com where i get mostly all my news stories from amid the fallout of pollen the destination events company is now facing a class action lawsuit from former employees digital music news reports Paulin recently went into administration in the UK after receiving droves of complaints from consumers, many of whom alleged the company failed to issue refunds for events that had been canceled. The company also drew the ire of a number of its partners, like Drumco Malta, whose organizers said Paulin's highly publicized struggles forced them to pull the plug on the festival. Okay, they gotta pull the plug now because I ain't doing right. Mm -mm, mm -mm. they doing shady business we don't play with that as the news circulated Paul released a statement attributing its pitfalls to a number of factors including COVID-19 restrictions and a global economic downtick the statement arrives days out is, is it recording honey it is thank you so much is the camera on all right anyway in global economic downtick, the statement arrives days after Live Nation released its Q2 fin financials. Yes, reporting for ooh, ooh, hold on, ooh, is it out? Give me a moment now. Give me a moment, 
Honey, Wi-Fi jumping up and down, honey. I ain't got the time today. Is the camera still on? Am I looking sexy today? Is the queen in? She is. Let's go. All right. Mm -mm. The statement arrived days after Live Nation released its Q2 fi financials, reporting $4.43 billion in revenue, up from $575.9 million last year. Despite strong growth since Street Team Software LTDs inception eight years ago, the knock-on effects of COVID-19 over the last two years was decimating much of the travel sector. Together with a together with the tech stock crash and current consumer uncertainty in light of global economic conditions put too much pressure on the business while at a critical stage of a scale up maturity. Reads Pauline's statement. Okay. Now, Sergio's Gian Caspro if I said that correctly, I'm sorry if I did not, is suing Network Travel Experiences, Inc., and Street Team Software, LLC, the U.S. Sub subsidiaries of Paulin. According to DMN, the class action suit alleges that Paulin was aware of its financial difficulties in early 2022 after missing payroll to its U.S. workforce. Moreover, employees' reimbursements in 2022 were reported reportedly late with some sources saying they weren't repaid at all. Uh-uh, honey, see? See, we gotta stop, we gotta stop the news story right there. Uh-uh, honey. Mm-mm. Honey, I would've filed a lawsuit too, bitch. I would've said, hello, let me do some research, let me figure out if I can find a lawsuit as an employee and not to pay no money to file the lawsuit because I want my money today. Okay, I want all my ducats, honey. I work too often the money for you telling you that you can't that you can't pay me. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right, the suit is the latest development in a saga of Paulin, where she had raised 150 million to curate destination travel experiences. Founded in 2014, the company reportedly laid off over 150. 50 members of its staff in May, just one month after the funding round. It touts itself as pairing world-class entertainment with exciting destinations and offers employees a chance to live a, a bigger life. Paulin proclaims that it is backed by prominent investors and has raised over 200, 200 million in VC funding the lawsuit reads per DMN. I mean, if it raised that much money, honey, why can't you pay your employees? This is about business structure and putting priorities in place. Um, and I just don't feel that Miss Miss Paulin has done that. But anyway, that's just my opinion. The party ended in August 2022, the suit adds. Paulin executives severely mismanaged the hundreds of millions with which they were entrusted with. Obviously, they did because whoever was business managing, whoever was, whoever was the business manager, whoever was managing the business was not managing that whole right. Okay? And see, somebody like the queen, I don't play that. Okay? So um y'all about to y'all about to get y'all money, okay, and sue the pants, sue the pith out of Miss Paulin. Okay, thank you so much. That was the news story of the day, honey. I ain't got no more for you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. My name is Peyton 3.0. For those of you who are, who are new and don't know, the EDM and drum step vocalist, Zombie Supreme. Thank you so much for being here. The Queen, McKing, yes. The Empress, the sexy, the uh, what I call it, what I said was the sexy, the sultry. There was a third S, but I forget what it was. 
the sexy, sultry, and sassy queen <laughs> of EDM of the world. Okay, I'll see you on the next Peyton 3.0's EDM World News. Bye-bye now.